18 years. Uh, she joined six months after I joined. I joined in 99 December. She joined in June 2000. Yep. So <laughs> a long Maybe time. Got the date. <laughs> <laughs> I basically look at the mystery and what is the one line story and one how the story will pan out. Then from there on Meenal takes it forward to get into screenplay and all. Right from the story which has been discussed with the story writer to the actual execution we are a part of it. Uh, I approve the script, it then goes into production. Whatever uh, are processes of the production, we are involved in all the processes and it goes into shoot. Once the story comes in our hand, we have to oversee what how the story is going to be uh, translated on screen. So whether it's your locations, if it's your casting, if it's your character artist, if it's your costumes, everything, I have to oversee that. She if, is the backbone of CIA. But she is the production controller. So everything runs smoothly on the sets because she is there and she makes sure that the 80 odd people on the set, the seven different uh, departments on the set, this. 20 cars that come on the set, everything moves in order and smoothly. That's so very see. simple. All you've got to do is creep, yell, <laughs> but you have to be tough. How do I do that now? <laughs> I use a little bit of foul language. <laughs> that works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when I, I'm in the industry since 1984, I did the serial called Nukkar. So over there, I saw that I came in not using any foul language, but it didn't work. So then I realized this is the only thing that works in the film line, for me, foul language, very much. Honestly, I've really not had such a tough time. <laughs> uh, uh, I think this is one of the industries compared to many industries that we do talk about, which, which is quite uh, open to women you know, and women being there and uh, uh, we have a lot of women around and it has been, uh, despite whatever people say, it's, it's, I feel it's completely the way you conduct yourself. When I uh, joined this company uh, for the first six months, she also was not there. Mm -hmm. So we had just the hairdresser and the actress on the set who were the females. Mm -hmm. But I realized that if you uh, are straightforward with the men on the set and you tell them what the problem is, I, I was just being honest with them and I I told them what I wanted to get done and they got it done. So it wasn't really, we never, I never really faced that after a point because after the point they became like my team, you know. So when you're talking to your team and they understand where you're coming from, I think it's a male ego it does play a small part in it. But after a point when you, they think you're, they're, you're one of them only, it goes away. Oh, there are a lot more women right now in our industry. So I don't think it'll be the same thing for them to face like how what we faced. But if you're honest, hardworking, and you're dedicated, I don't think anybody would have a problem, whether woman or man. So. The production house and us, we work together very closely, and uh, we've never really uh, had any issues in terms of, you know, putting uh, our ideas into action. So in that sense, uh, you know, it's been a smooth ride. But overall, channel is like Mahashweta and Meenal have been there for I think the longest time with us. So they also supported us a lot during the journey. A lot, a lot of credit goes to Christine for where we stand today. She's been a good colleague, she's a, a great supporter of all the people who mess up, she takes the blame for them. That's why we all love her. She's the mo Mother Teresa of CIH. Raju, enough.